Well, good morning, stamping friends. How are you all doing? It is so good to be back. As you know, I've taken a little break here and not done my lives because I have been so busy with my um, Cozy Crafter treat and um, everything is shipped and I'm just so thankful for those of you who ordered one because this is really the first time I've done a retreat in a box to go. And so it was um, definitely a big project, but everything's out the door, so it feels so good. So I'm kind of getting back to normal here at home. But before I get started and share with you some of the things that um, are from the retreat, I wanted to tell you about this 24 hour sale and it's going on right now. And I am going to flip the phone or my camera around so that you can see up close. But I just wanted to um, just let you know that this is a really good um, sale going on now. Oops, let me poke something on my um, screen that popped up. Um, so 15% off many stamp sets and I have um, a list here. You can uh, read it on my blog, but there's so many for sale that are marked down and a lot of them are brand new in the annual catalog. There's a grand, if you're a grandparent, you need to get the grand kid one. And um, I'm going to be ordering that one because that's a keeper because I make a lot of cards for my grandkids. So anyway, check that out and um, just see if there's something that grabs your attention. And I will put my host code down here in case you want to order. I would love it if you use the host code. So back to retreat. I have this on my full view. I'm not used to standing here with my craft room in the background. Usually I'm sitting and stuff, but because I want to show you the bag that the cozy craft retreat came in, I need to stand for that. So um, I guess let's get started. As I said, um, I did the cozy craft retreat in a box and um, it's not a virtual event. It's a retreat in a box. So once it was out my door, it was over. We don't do Zoom or anything. I know some people are doing those, but this one was just you work at your leisure and some people are having their little groups get together and work on them. Um, in fact, the people haven't even received them yet. I just sent them all yesterday and so they should be getting them around tomorrow or the next day depending on, well, this crazy postal system. <laughs> But um, it, I did pay for the two-day shipping. So, and I think one person in New, New York, it said three-day. It wouldn't let me do two days. So anyway, you know, you'll get it in a couple days. But I wanted to warn you that if you like surprises, you may not want to watch this one and wait for the box to come in the mail because um, you're going to see the bag that it came in. So I was super excited to... Um, make this bag. I had it envisioned thinking we were going to do a live event, but I still went with the theme even though um, it was going to be in a box because of COVID. Hopefully next year we'll get back to normal, but it was fun doing the kit. So let me grab the bag. So whoops, just dropped something. So the bag that everyone got, it's this cute little gnome bag. It We kind of used or chose a gnome for our mascot for all of our advertising. And it's just a basic canvas bag, but I doctored it up with a little gnome theme. It has kind of that Nordic ribbon on. Some There's different ribbons that got sent, but this is one that, one of them. And then his little beard is like the real fur, you know, and then all this is ironed on and his little body underneath and then a wooden nose that was glued on. So if you ordered a kit to go, this is the bag that you got with all your treats inside. Then the one of the stamp sets everyone got was Gnome for the Holidays. And um, some people thought the whole thing was going to be Gnome. It is not at all. There's just um, certain parts that are. But I just thought it went so cute with this little stamp set. So if you ordered the kit, you got this in with your goodie bag. And the other stamp set I chose was Banner Year. And this one has really all the seasons for this fall, plus some others that you can use, you know, really anytime. And so this was another one we used in the retreat. Then I'm gonna quick show you some of the other product that everyone got that ordered. Um, they got a spool of the sheer real red ribbon that we used on many of the projects. They also got a half a bolt of the metallic mesh ribbon, and they also got all the trimmings embellishments, and you'll see these on a lot of the projects. Then. There was designer series paper. Oh, I forgot to pull one. Actually, oh, I don't have it here. 
There was the plaid tidings that everyone got a partial pack of that. There was also Halloween paper that um, people got a partial pack of that. And then they all got a half pack of the heartwarming hugs designer series paper. So that's the product that came in. Then there are 20 projects that everyone got the make and takes for. And this is when I'm going to turn my camera around so that I can show you up close. Whoops what everyone got so let me flip here you're going to see my ceiling for just a second and let me get this lined up and then you can see a little bit more close and let me explain how i'm going to do this for sharing the projects with you i am going to offer the PDF for this because everything is it's too late to order the kit because that deadline was quite a while ago and we sold out pretty fast on that. So the only way you can get the projects now is by purchasing the PDF. So what I'm going to do is for this week and next week, I'm going to show you um, different projects all throughout the week. So make sure you check back so you can see every project that is included in the PDF. And then when I'm done showing that, which will be the end of September, this will be my October class offering. And again, I repeat, it's not a kit of everything cut because I already did that and we put so many hours in. Oh my goodness. My friend, um, Susanna Cunningham, flew in from Illinois. She's also one of my team members. She was here nine days and we worked from sun up to sun down and even more hours cutting and prepping and embossing and stuffing and doing all that and then another big shout out to becky costello who came she works full t or part time but she came about four or five days as well and then i have oodles of other people that i just you know gave them smaller jobs and they could do it at home so what i'm basically saying is that this event could not even happen without all the helpers that i had um working with me to get these out in the mail all right, so let's look at one of the projects that's included in the PDF that will be offered. And I'm going to do a no, the GNOME project because, um, like I said, that was kind of the theme, but not every project has gnomes on it. This is actually one of our, um, it's like a paper pumpkin box. You can see that it's shaped um, like a mini version of the paper pumpkin. And it says, happy everything on the tag. Now, some people aren't as much into gnomes. I love gnomes, but say you did the retreat and you're not so into them. The reason we housed it in a little gift box is this would make a great gift for someone that does enjoy gnomes. So, and it says happy everything because you're gonna see that there's um, kind of a card for everything. Oh, another product that everyone got was a half a pack of note cards and that's the, cards that we used inside the box they fit perfectly in here so um, the ribbon is just a slide off so you don't have to ruin any of the packaging and then we decorated the front and the sides with that and inside we are making five different cards and envelopes and they're all decorated differently the first one i'll show you is a fall themed card i don't know this card reminds me of candy corn and i have kind of a candy corn fetish i love i love eating it with nuts because it tastes like a candy bar salted nut roller i think payday in arizona anyway um so this has all the candy color themes and which i tried to incorporate in the gnome's hat and then there's a tree and you know i just kind of made this pattern so if you purchase the pdf you will get the pattern to that so you can cut out and copy that and then this is a die cut and it just says happy fall y'all and with some leaves inside and then i um decorated all the envelopes just with the matching um dsp so that's the first one the second one, we went from fall to Halloween. Here's the Halloween card and envelope. So this little guy has little Dracula fangs. Isn't that fun? There are little triangles on there and his nose is popped up. There's a spider in there with one of our new jewels and um, this metallic mesh that everyone got with the, with the kit is cool because it kind of looks like a spider web a little bit but you can also make this look Christmassy because it's kind of festive looking because it is the you know the silver metallic 
So that's the Halloween one with Happy Haunting. And here's some of the embellishments that were on all the trimmings embellishment pack that everyone got. So that's that one. Then the next one is a Christmas one and it has the plaid again. Isn't that fun? It's just kind of an offset little corner here and um, the little ornament is popped up and it's in the traditional red and green colors. And then this stamp, this is the banner year that they also got. So I used that on the inside. So that's a fun little gnome card. The next one is the gnome with the featuring the mushroom. Now in the stamp set, I don't know about you. I mean, it is, I guess it's cute by itself, but to me, it seems like it's missing a little bit. So I saw kind of a different version of taking the ovals and cutting them down to make the mushrooms. So I thought that was fun and just stick that on the top. So this is just using more product that they all got in the kits. And did I put any? Yeah, I put, there's no place like Gnome for the Christmas season. So that's the next little project. And then the last one is kind of a wintry theme one. It uses our Snowflake DSP and again, the ribbon that they got in the, um, in the kit and then we added a little snowflake and I just love that color combination of the balmy blue with the purple posy and um, just the let it snow. So those are the five projects that is just one of, well these come as five of the 20 so there are a lot more to share but I just wanted to show you um, some of the projects in there so that you know when you get the PDF these are all the things that you will be getting. Um, also, I just wanted to share that um, I did get enough subscribers for my YouTube live. And so thank you so much for subscribing. Now I just have to figure that out. I had to wait two weeks for it to be approved. So I am going to be switching over to YouTube, YouTube live. So make sure when you go to my YouTube channel, which I will post the link again, that you hit subscribe and then um, the little bell will alert you when I am live, but it'll still be the same times, Tuesday mornings and Friday. Friday mornings at 9 o'clock a.m. Mountain Standard Time and um, I will continue doing them but it's just an easier format for me but um, watch for that on Friday so we will see you then and I will have more projects to share with you from the cozy craft retreat this is the pandemic edition and there's um, really fun things because we made some treats for everyone that signed up and it's just a lot of fun stuff so thank you for joining me. That's all I have for today, and I'll see you Friday morning. Bye-bye.